everyone and welcome to the Chicago Cultural Center for another Dame Myra Hess Memorial Concert Broadcast. This free weekly series, inspired by the concerts organized by Dame Myra Hess in World War II London, was started in Chicago in 1977 by Al Booth, founder of the International Music Foundation, and now is managed by the Foundation's Executive Director, Mark Riggleman. Today's concert is made possible by generous grants from the Paul M. Angel Family Foundation, the Ann and Gordon Getty Foundation, the National Endowment for the Arts, and the Illinois Arts Council. And you can join us right now for a live video of this performance on WFMT's Facebook and YouTube channels. We have music for solo harp this afternoon, played for us by harpist Marguerite Lynn Williams. Five pieces on the program. We will begin with the Sonata No. 6 in C minor by the Italian composer Giovanni Battista Pescetti. That will be followed by music from Rusalka, the opera by Antonin Dvorak, the Song to the Moon in a Transcription by Marguerite Lynn Williams. Following the Dvorak, the classical suite for harp alone, this is music from 1972 by Lynn Wainwright Palmer. After the Palmer, music of Sidney Guillaume, his Angoisse, music from 1998, we're going to hear the world premiere of the harp transcription of this piece, a collaboration between the composer and Miss Williams. And finally, we will conclude with music of William Grant Still, a piece known as Brown Girl, the fourth selection from a piece by uh, Grant, William Grant Still called From the Black Belt. And now to begin our program, the Sonata No. 6 in C minor, music of Giovanni Battista Peschetti, in a transcription by our harpist, Marguerite Lynn Williams. Thank you. 
music from 1739 by the Italian composer Giovanni Battista Peschetti in a transcription by harpist Marguerite Lynn Williams, who is our guest this afternoon at the Dame Myra Hess Memorial Concert, live from Chicago's Cultural, Cultural Center on Classical WFMT and WFMT.com, also on our Facebook and YouTube pages. David Schwann, your host for this afternoon's broadcast. Our next music was uh, by Antonin Dvorak from his opera Rusalka, the well-known Song to the Moon, in a transcription once again by Marguerite Lynn Williams. This was part of a project arranged on behalf of Lyric Opera of Chicago at the height of the pandemic. An interesting story will pass along to you after we hear the performance that Ms. Williams and I were discussing prior to the broadcast today. First, let's hear the music, The Song to the Moon from Rusalka by Antonin Dvorak, harpist Marguerite Lynn Williams. <laughs> Thank you. 
Song to the Moon, from the opera Rusalka by Antonin Dvorak, in an arrangement by our harpist this afternoon, Marguerite Lynn Williams, our guest this afternoon at the Dame Myra Hess Memorial Concert. We are live from Chicago's Cultural Center on Classical WFMT and WFMT.com. As we mentioned before we heard the piece, this is something that's near and dear to Miss Williams' heart in that she arranged this for a, a special project that Lyric Opera conducted uh, during the height of the pandemic and uh, thought of a rather interesting parallel between the music and the times in which we lived. Rusalka being a mermaid, uh, unable to leave the water in this piece, singing to the moon, asking it to stand still and embrace her love, which is a prince, hoping that he's dreaming of her and begging it not to disappear. And of course, uh, we in turn, during the height of the pandemic, were stuck in various places, and she thought that was an interesting parallel. As a result, she dedicates this transcription, this arrangement, to her colleagues at Lyric Opera's orchestra. Marguerite Lynn Williams, our guest this afternoon at the Dame Myra Hess Memorial Concert. Next, music for harp by Lynn Wainwright Palmer, who lived between 1918 and 2010. This is her classical suite for harp alone, coming from 1972. The classical suite comprising seven movements based on the traditional Baroque dance suite. Classical suite for harp alone, harp alone by Lynn Wainwright Palmer. Here is our guest artist, Marguerite Lynn Williams.
classical suite for harp alone. Music from 1972 by Lynn Wainwright Palmer and played for us this afternoon by Marguerite Lynn Williams, our guest this afternoon at the Dame Myra Hess Memorial Concert. We're live from Chicago's Cultural Center on Classical WFMT and WFMT.com. David Schwann, your host for this afternoon's broadcast. Thank you for joining us also on YouTube and Facebook. Always a pleasure to have you with us. Our next music is a world premiere, actually, a harp transcription of a piece by the American composer Sidney Guillaume, born in 1982. His piece from 1998, known as Angoisse, or Anguish. Miss Williams worked with the composer to put together this transcription, which we will be hearing for the very first time this afternoon. Here is Angoisse, music from 1998 by the American composer Sidney Guillaume, Marguerite Lynn Williams, Harp. Thank you. 
Music by the Haitian American composer Sidney Guillaume, Anguas, Anguish. This was the world premiere of the harp transcription of this piece, a collaboration between our guest harpist this afternoon, Marguerite Lynn Williams, and the composer, Sidney Guillaume, who is living and working in the Pacific Northwest. He has had a career that has included uh, composing film scores, instrumental music, and choral music, and wrote a brief uh, description about this piece. In his words, he said, Anguas was the first piano solo that I fully completed, and it was written at a time when I was finding myself. I struggled a lot with trying to fit in with the American culture at school and returning home every day to find a traditional Haitian household. Music by Sidney Guillaume from 1998. Our final music comes from William Grant Still, who is known as the Dean of African American Classical Composers. We're going to hear a brief piece entitled Brown Girl from his 1926 work from the Black Belt. William Grant Still was also the first African American composer to have a symphony performed by a leading orchestra in 1931, his Afro American Symphony. Symphony No. 1, premiered by Howard Hansen and the Rochester Philharmonic in uh, Rochester, New York. Here now is Brown Girl from, from the Black Belt, music from 1926 by William Grant Still and performed by harpist Marguerite Lynn Williams. <laughs> Brown Girl, a selection 
from the suite from the Black Belt, music from 1926 by William Grant Still, and performed for us this afternoon by harpist Marguerite Lynn Williams. Miss Williams, principal harp of the Lyric Opera of Chicago Orchestra, also joining the Minnesota Orchestra as principal harp in September of 2020, and as a founding member of the Chicago Harp Quartet, also playing with international chamber artists and La Folia harp and flute duo. In addition to being a member of the faculty of the Beenan School of Music at Northwestern and the Chicago College of Performing Arts at Roosevelt University, she is the founder also of the Chicago Harp Ensemble and has been director of this student ensemble since 2010. Miss Williams, born in Dayton, Ohio, began her music studies at age five on the piano earning a bachelor's degree and a performer certificate from the Eastman School of Music and continued her graduate studies at the Chicago College of Performing Arts. We hope you enjoyed today's Dame Myra Hess Memorial Concert presented live from Chicago's Cultural Center on Michigan Avenue at Washington Street. You can tune us in next Wednesday at 1215 for another performance or watch a live video of next week's performance on our Facebook and YouTube pages. Thank you again for joining us there today. Musicians' accommodations are provided by the Union League Club of Chicago. And for upcoming Dame Myra Hess artists and programs, please go to the IMF website at imfchicago.org. Our engineer is Mary Mazurik and had assistance today from Caleb Drawball. Our video producer is Keegan Morris. And until next week, this is David Schwann, your host for these broadcasts. Have a good afternoon and goodbye for now from Chicago's Cultural Center.